Good evening and welcome to Techki TV. My name is Mark Hopkins and this is number 209 of 260 Facebook Lives that Rob and I are doing in 2017. Um, so today I wanted to talk about uh, your playlist and the reason I say that is I'm going on a road trip in January and I started playing around with what music would be on my ultimate playlist and what I've tried to do is I wanted to think about songs from key moments of my life so I remember exactly uh, where I was when Freddie Mercury died for example you can picture that now uh, my first ever concert was drum roll no judging allowed status quo when I was jeepers I was a youngster, I must have been 10 or 11. It was my first concert, Status Quo. I think at that point as well, it was their final tour. I think 20 years later, they're still touring. But there are certain things that happened in my life and certain memories that have been created. Uh, and I'm a man, I love my music. So I was just going, going through those songs and I was going about building my playlist and asking myself the questions, which songs would I put on my playlist and why? And as I looked at the playlist, uh, and I'm still building it, I started to ask myself questions around what was important in those times, why are those songs on the playlist, why, why uh, are those memories triggered when I think about playlists and when I think about music. Um, and then you start looking for threads and trends, and it's really, I'm not going to share them now, I'm going to save it, but it's really interesting when you look at threads and trends of your playlist and the decisions and choices that you make, even from a young age, and how similar they can be or are as you track them throughout your life. And I, I think that's an interesting question to explore a little bit further at some point in time, but not tonight. So um, I'd like you to go away and think about your playlist. I would like you to go and build a playlist. I would like you to go back to your earliest musical memory and put that song down. Have that as your first song on your playlist and go right the way through to present day. Um, you can have as many or as few songs as you want. Um, and then once you've built your playlist, go back and write down exactly what your memory is around that song. What were you doing? Who were you with? And what kind of things were you thinking about? Because even I can remember a bit in this concert going to this concert and I was loving it. I was up there dancing away and there was this couple in front of us for two hours, did not move. They sat there, arms folded for two hours, didn't move, didn't speak to anybody, let alone themselves. As the concert finished, they got up and walked off. And um, as a, whatever I was, 10, 11 year old, you're looking at there goes, what is going on? Sorry, they pay this money to come to a concert, but maybe they enjoy themselves. Maybe that's how they show their enjoyment is by sitting there, not moving and not talking, each to their own, hey? But that's a memory that I have from, well, I give on 28, 30 years ago. I still remember, I can still picture them. I can still picture the horrible 80s shirt that they were wearing. But go away and do that. Go away and build your playlist and ask yourself some questions. Describe that. And just use that to capture your memories. Use that to look at the past, the decisions you've made, and things that are important to you. As I've said on previous, previous occasions, it's, I find it fascinating what things we remember and what we don't remember. Uh, I think, like that story I was talking about, state of there's emotions attached to that with other people not doing anything. But I find it fascinating. So have a think about, have a think about your players, and I'm going to have to apologise for yawning, but I was up early, and it is now late, and I am tired um but go and build your playlist it's such good fun i think you'll love it i think you'll get lots of value out of it i think it'll open your eyes to certain things and certain questions that you might not have been taught thinking about for a period of time um but with that one i am going to stop and call it a night now because i've got another early start tomorrow morning so with that i wish you an awesome day Bye bye